Hey guys, how's it going? Tez back again with episode number 6 of the Dortmund career mode. We're coming into this one after finally getting some form together, picking up some points in the league with two good wins in the Bundesliga and it's time to jump back to European action. We're in the Champions League away again, actually. Weirdly, after being away at Chelsea, we are now away at Benfica. And obviously, as you can see on screen, we picked up a draw against Chelsea. It was a 1-1 draw and we were hoping for better in this game against Benfica but they sit top of the group after beating Malaga in the first game and uh, we actually made a decent start. Nuri Sahin's going to uh, unfortunately find gross quotes as his shot is blocked but who says you can't finesse on FIFA 13 eh? That is an absolute dreamy finish from Kevin Grosskreutz. Obviously brought him in to uh, move Royce infield, drop Kurtz to the bench. Grosskreutz has been debuting, debuting and uh, starting at left mid and that is Oh, that's so good. That is a gorgeous finish. I was d thoroughly, thoroughly delighted with the way that with the way that flew into the top right-hand corner. So that put us 1-0 up. And I was hoping that we were actually going to push on from there. But unfortunately, they were going to get into the box here. It's kind of a dodgy tackle from the defender. I think it was uh, Nevan Subotic. Kind of, he, like, see, all you've got to do there is go with his right leg and hook the ball away. But weirdly, it, it seems to happen time and time again. They uh, uh, With this engine, they kind of go with their leading leg not the leading leg but like the leg that's closest to the defender first before they get the tackle in it's kind of like a, an engine glitch where uh, they can't actually just smoothly take the ball with uh, with their stride they have to plant a foot first and obviously that planted foot took out their man and they were actually able to uh, to score with that penalty obviously Oscar Cardozo is an absolutely worldy penalty taker and uh, his free kicks are amazing as well just his left foot in general is an absolute rocket but uh, they brought on Pablo Aymar in the second half looking for a little bit more creative spark but Sheba's actually going to get in the box here fortunate with the knock on from the defender squares the ball but Mario Goetze just doesn't quite have the legs to be able to get on the end of it and it does unfortunately go straight out the other side for a throw in and then Sheba's going to get another wonderful opportunity here but unfortunately Artur Marias is on form to uh, to bring in an amazing save and keep Benfica in the game uh, almost till, almost like his team of the season card on ultimate team there with a wonderful save reaction save from uh, Julian Schieber so that leaves it at 1-1 we do take a point from our second game in the Champions League so still un undefeated in Europe I suppose if you're, uh, you want to take some positives from it but still not the best we really do want to improve but we come back to Bundesliga action we are at home and as you can see on screen we are actually sat ninth in the league after four games two wins two defeats six points decent goal difference of plus three but still for a team of Borussia Dortmund stature, we want to be doing a lot better. And uh, Blazikowski whips in a beautiful ball for Grosskreutz, who can't quite find the finish with his head to uh, to put us 1-0 up. But uh, here, another lobbed ball, really, really exploiting that in this game. And Royce wanted him to take that on his right foot, really. But uh, unfortunately, decided to take it with his left, and Tersteigen is able to make a decent save. And then more football coming down this right-hand side. Blazikowski again whipping a lovely stood-up ball to the back post. And Gadogan, how he's put that header that far wide from that position, I've no idea. Maybe it was a bit of pressure on his back from the defender, but he really should be at least working the keeper. If not, it should be an easy finish into the top corner. But uh, another lobbed through ball here in the second half. This time it's Robin Lewandowski drawing a great save out the goalkeeper. Kept that one low very, very nicely indeed, actually. But we're going to get a corner here in the 75th minute. Ball's going to come in. Hummels is going to go up for the header. And uh, I think thought it was just a normal header but you'll be able to see from the replay that it's a very very good spot from the official actually as uh, Hummels heads it he heads it onto the arm of the defender which uh, kind of changes the uh, the or not almost said the telemetry there changes the uh, trajectory is the word I'm looking for changes the trajectory of the ball and uh, it is handball it's a penalty and Lewandowski tidily puts it away into the top corner and I was hoping we we're going to be able to uh, see this one out as well and pick up three points but a great finish there from Luke de Jong in the 90th minute denies us an opportunity of three points for the second time in two games and I was really really disappointed with the way that we've been taking the lead in so many games this season we haven't seen it out especially in this episode taking the lead in both of the games we took the lead against Chelsea as well in the Champions League a couple of episodes ago and haven't been able to see the games out so it's really the defensive side of things where I need to improve if uh, we're going to be a threat in all competitions this year but we come back to Bundesliga again away from home for a second time in this uh, in this episode and it is against Hanover 96 and we get off to a great start taking the lead once again Royce is going to be twisting and turning get a lucky deflection off the play but Lewandowski with a tidy finish there really a clinical to, uh, to make sure that that went 
right into the bottom right hand corner to put us 1-0 up early on and I was hoping to be able to uh, to keep the lead but typical with the way that this episode has been going so far as you can see we sped it up because they got an inst reply they themselves get a decent uh, a decent deflection here and it's going to drop to uh, Mame Baram Juf it's just going to slide it into the bottom corner as he gets crunched by his own, uh, own player just kind of bundles him to the floor but nonetheless that is going to bring it back to 1-1 and they're actually going to make it 2-1 here we're going to go 2-1 down it is another penalty given for handball you can see Schmelzer here no idea what he's doing going up with his hands uh, just to try and block the shot it's just a foolish move to be honest I really was fuming at the uh, at the left back there and uh, typically we did go 2-1 down Abdullawi does smash that right down the middle typical with uh, or similar in fact to the Robert Lewandowski penalty in the previous uh, previous game but nonetheless we do go in at half time 2-1 down but we have had more of the ball and more chances so I was confident going forward into the second half that we could at least get a point out of this one and uh, we do actually get a good goal here Royce is going to make a decent turn uses acceleration to get away from the defender kind of scuffs the finish but that scuffed finish actually makes the ball go right into the bottom corner and uh, out of the goalkeeper's reach so I made a couple of changes brought on Mario Goetze and uh, Rodrigo for Lewandowski just to kind of freshen things up try and give me some more legs up top and uh, it actually paid great dividends we've uh, just carried on this wasn't cut at all straight from the uh, from the throw in just after we uh, brought the subs on Rodrigo's going to get played through poor first touch but it is just good enough to get him away from the defender and then smashes that into the top corner just four minutes after being brought onto the pitch and that was enough to see us home to give us a good three points away from home and uh, we will definitely take that considering our, our recent form but we are unbeaten now in five I think question mark or six even with the Chelsea game so uh, really really good form we're putting together here so hopefully we can, can we can continue that going forward uh, I do have another couple of episodes pre-recorded so they will they are, will be edited and uh, commentated ready for you guys in the next few days and uh, the media are picking up on the fact that Grosko has just been playing some really, really good football, which is nice to see. Hopefully he can start progressing stat-wise as well. May have a, uh, a squad report coming up in the next few episodes after uh, after I get into the uh, the block of uh, you know pre-recording another, another batch of videos. So uh, I'll try to bring that to you guys hopefully for next week. But as you can see on screen, links to the previous video in the big window and link to a random video from earlier in the week on this channel in the little window. So thank you very much for watching, guys. Please feel free to leave the video a like if you could be so kind. And of course, subscribe if you haven't. Pushing on towards 1,500 subscribers now on this channel, which is absolutely superb. So thank you very much for watching, guys. And I will see you next time.